Today is January 5th, 2023. Um, it's been a lot the last few days. A lot. I told you about yesterday, up in Akron, down for my clients, about 4.30 in the evening. Uh, Eric's down the way, the silver car, from Ravenna, screaming, my God. I am so sorry for all this. All of this is my fault. My God, they told me what happened. And oh my God, it's all my fault. And I'm so sorry. None of this is funny. They were right. None of it's funny. And now they've taken Dave. And oh my God, they've taken him. None of this is funny. I got to find a way to fix it. My God, none of this is funny. I'm so sorry for the whole street. For all the tapes before were me and not her. It was my idea to come up with it. My idea to do it. And my idea to say it for all these people turned on their phone for ha 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 ha. November 18th, 22, Walmart 62, 2 to 6 p.m. Eric came in and confessed laughing at these people. It's not funny anymore. Idea is Eric, November 24, 22. Mercy Medical, the nurse to the uh, Lady Cant officer about um, here, all here and Eric. Uh, Make fun of everybody for falling for it. It's no longer funny. Okay. Back in the beginning of the case. Even the church people. Referred to. Michelle's family as a poor family. That poor family has nothing. She has everything. Okay. They have nothing. And she's had everything for years. That poor family has nothing. And that's how they put it. And that's how they talked about them. Even the church people, people in the case, they helped out because of that poor family. Because they have nothing. And that's how they call Pete Michelle's family poor. So I want you to think about this. They're poor. They have nothing. Dave's dating Michelle. She's 18. All right. And he's 60. And they've been dating for about a year. And we go to buy that big house. So her drug friends come up with this sex extortion scheme to scare me out of giving everything up. That they were going to where I woke up with bruises, throwing up, heart racing, almost passing out. And had their drug beat me. Okay. And drugging me up with roofie so you're sleepwalking to say something stupid. And I don't see anything in the roofing drinks or stabbing me with a needle. And then stalking me and photoshopping a washing scene and the uh, stocking tapes done by her dad and his drug friends like they said up in Akron over the summer it was a mean teenage stunt but it went too far because they even beat and raped the rest of it of the photoshopping and washing and roofing was a very very mean teenage stunt that went too far okay they're poor they don't have anything and their drug friends try to get them me scared out of giving up a house my jewelry. So the friend that has nothing been dating this guy for a year and he's married to get it away from his wife just to scare her out of it. Even the cops in the beginning of the case said why are they making everything up on her and why are they saying all those things. He said oh they're trying to scare her out of giving up that house and everything for that one girl to get everything. They already knew it in 18. Okay. And that's it. They just want that one girl to get everything. Now, I want you to think, they made up this big pawn for me, photoshopping, roofing me, okay? And went too far, because I got hurt, okay? Because they want, they're poor, and they don't think I'll give all that nice stuff up. And they've been together for about a year, all right? So her drug friends, the Steve and Eric, her dad, and Michelle come up with that scam. Well, they're in the middle of the drug cartel. But they're poor. Okay? And they tell them about the scam they're running. Now, I want you to think of the drug words. But it is that scam. Use me as a Ponzi. I have to earn people against me with it. So that they can drug trade human traffic and have people go after me and entertain them. And so they won't tell them for drug trading and human trafficking opening openly in this area. 
and then promise people money they never get, gifts that they help out and they never get them. And they're lying to everybody so they can get away with their scam. Now, I want you to think, what kind of insane man? Now, he has committed life in battle. Okay. If the cops ever find, find out, the FBI, somebody of law enforcement finds out, he's breaking in people's homes, stalking them, even hired to, to drug them, Photoshop, and do a sex abortion scheme, let alone drugs and kidnapping and rape and human trafficking. He's looking life in federal. So who gave, now he's very poor. So who gave Pete the money to pay off Will and John? He don't have it. So where the drug lords want to buy their pawn, what kind of insane, now a man that goes into an FBI building, confesses to a federal officer of the law he was hired to stalk somebody. He used sodium pentothal to get the so-called truth out of him. And they knew they couldn't get it and you lie under it. And would confess those crimes and then offer him a bribe. See, Pete was expendable because he was, he was poor. They, if he didn't take the bribe, he was gonna get nailed to that desk and he was gonna get life in federal. They were, he was risking his freedom and everything. So was he being blackmailed? Hmm? Was he that desperate for money and they paid off Patsy to go in there and, and present his pawn to him? And a bribe? Because he don't have that kind of money. Hmm? They paid, the drug cartels paid him to go in there and do that. So that's where the whole thing of it is because only an insane man would walk into a police station and confess to crimes. And then it's gonna come down to, and they were setting Pete up to go to jail for the crimes along with that Steve and Eric. And they confessed all those crimes in front of people so they would go to jail for the drug lord's crimes. They set them up. All right, now, we're going to go back to this. They've set up Will and John. See, how did they know that Will and John would take the bait? How did they know that they would take the bribe? That when they go in, they tell them they were hired to stalk somebody. It's sex extortion automatically. Like they said, being in somebody's home is automatically sex extortion. Um, they were to be arrested the first day. So why would, hmm, oh, I can't think about that. Why would they know that we'll take the crime? That when they tell them they have sodium pentothal reports, they've been getting the drugs, that he would be curious enough to do the wrong thing. Hmm? And to find out where he got the drugs from. To make you sleepwalk. And get their drug dealers. At all costs. Instead of doing the right thing. And no matter what. Arrest him for his crimes he confessed to. And then find a different way to get him. How did they know. That he'd go rogue enough. And they knew him well enough. That he'd go after the drug dealers. It don't matter who gets hurt. Fentanyl King, well, U.S. military, dark web malware, the one you arrested. him. Did you ever encounter him? Did you ever encounter Henry, Michael Peterson, or Trakasami? Hmm? Or that guy Henry that talked about as a serial killer? Mm hmm? Because he knows a lot about you and John, that you guys go rogue. And take all responsibility. And, hmm? They know a lot about you. Like they said yesterday. <clears throat> in Speedway at Middle Branch Road. In the morning two of the guys that had me look like construction workers are actually cops. Or the case. They were in their complaint. So I'm asked that off well. Uh yeah. 
because they knew Will would want the drug dealers no matter what. Somebody Will knows or accounted for. Now, we're going to put it this way. We're going to talk about the serial killer in this. Up in Ravenna, we all know about that one guy. We all know he thinks it's funny trying to kill people. We all know about him. We all know he thinks it's funny killing people. The greatest hunt is a human being. And the greatest thrill is hunting them. We all know about him. He watches her for hours. He thinks it's funny. She makes, he, she gets out of his tracks. She even figured out how to pay for a divorce. She put it on her credit card and she had no money. She can't afford that apartment she lives in. She'd rather starve than die and go back to Dave. Or she'd just die. She'd rather starve. He thinks it's funny. She'd rather starve. He watches her. She finds ways out of his traps. Hmm. Now we're gonna go to other things. Okay. There was weird statements up there. For when, see when they showed up the, this last month, <clears throat> when they taped them. The time has ended here. We at least got Dave out of this. He makes sure no one ever sees that from ever again. And we're gonna, for when the time elapses, it's who makes it out of the traps. Live. Okay. They also told me the trap and the key to the trap doing the right thing. Everybody's doing wrong. And that's the trap. He's counting on it. Everybody's doing the wrong thing. He's counting on it. It's the trap. Everybody's doing wrong. That's the trap. For the way out of the trap is to do the right thing. Down a narrow path, even though it was. Don't verge out of it. Even though it winds and turns. The trap is to do the right thing. It's a way out of the trap is to do the right thing. The trap is doing the wrong. Stay on it no matter what. The straight road. Even though it winds and turns. Okay? See, he was counting on you people. Everybody to do what's wrong. That's a trap. Mm -hmm. To get out of the trap is to do the right See, they could, uh, Pete and them could have never done this extortion scheme. They could have never always uh, bragged to the cartel. And then the cartel pay Pete or blackmail him into going to bribe off that agent. They had to know about that agent and his personality that he'd go so broke. And he'd want the bad guy so bad, he'd do everything wrong and break every law just to get the bad The way out of the trap is to do the right thing. They're all doing wrong. And he's counting on it. Where Henry thinks she's so stupid. Her IQ is so low it would hurt his head to listen to her. Huh? Call Will an idiot. Several places and listed him a thief. Had people call him an idiot. 
had because Pete's family is poor. They had to call them pathetic. See, they would, what they've done is let Will and John, where they're going after the bad guys, tell the cops, stay out of it. We're going to go after these drug dealers. And they're letting me get hurt being one of their informants, which is really wrong. Okay? That's a trap for me. I can't go anywhere. I can't get free. That was one of the traps. The trap is everybody doing the right thing. If he would have, if, think about that. And then they want Pete, they want Michelle, Steve, and Eric to take the fall for organizing this terrorist attack on, on the U.S. And that Will and John are aiding and abetting terrorism by selling government technology where they hacked in my case, where they stole, they have held up my money. So it looks like they're embezzling 300 grand. That he's a thief and he's stealing and he's dangerous and he's rogue. So that the government will take them all out. See what I mean? They're setting them up to do the fall. Even children in Louisville and Dollar General. Some ass that will up. It's Henry. Isn't it? For Henry, it's Henry. He has such a low IQ. He's had her to even meet her. Have people mock me and leave his name. It's Henry. Huh. It's Henry, isn't it? Most serial killers play with their victims. And they plan what they'll... They even said in Ravenna, everybody responds the same way. They have the same actions. The same everything. And they can calculate how you act. Hmm. They already knew. Will and John would want the bad guys no matter what. Instead of arresting Pete and Dave the first day and the church people involved and get me out of there, nip it, and then go after the drug dealers. That they would turn, act like they're turning on me and then go after them. And that was their trap. So the government go after them. See, even those cops and that speedway, they've already told Will, it's not funny that he would even say he was part of anything before when it was just the drug lord setting up a pawn to fight over this area. And everybody knows it. See, where Pete presented his scam for his baby girl. Because they were so poor, they were going to try to freak me out and for me to give everything up for him. See, that's where Eric apologized yesterday. Uh, up in Akron, down for my clients, the silver car. Oh my God. They told me what happened. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. And it sounded like he was crying his eyes out, voice shaking. I am so sorry for everything. Everything is my fault. My God, I heard they even took Dave. Oh my God, all this is my fault. I am so sorry. I don't, I'll have to find a way to fix it. I'm so sorry. And he's screaming and repenting down the street. And finally pulls off, screaming and wailing. It sounded like his voice, like he's crying his eyes out. My God, I'm so sorry. My God. This is all my fault. We're November 18th, 22, Walmart 62 for all the tapes before her and me and not her. It was my idea to come up with it, my idea to do it, my idea to say it for all these people turn around and they fell for it. Ha! Ah, well, I hit levels of not funny where they were only doing it for their friend to get a house and my jewelry because they were poor and they just pulled the meanest teenage stunt in the world. The drug card tells you this scam. Asked me as a pawn and then told people they give them money, they buy them jewelry, they do this, they do that. They didn't tell them for the crimes they were doing here. And then they never give them a dime. And they use them as pawns. And whoever, like I'm saying, I bet it's Henry. And that one that thinks he's so much smarter and better than people. They said he yelled out Maslin that he killed Dave. He's the one that killed Dave. Now I'm going to tell you. He's the one that likes to run experiments on people and cut them up. I talked about. 
likes hunting people. He set them all up. I found the paw. Who's the target, Will? Target was you and John. They knew that you'd do the wrong thing to get the back up. So you'd get in trouble. The target is Pete and Michelle and Steve and Eric that they did this little scam and they used it so they'd set them up to look like the terrorist group that started off the uh, drug cartels, human trafficking, that it's their fault. So the government take them out. They use them because they called them pathetic because they were poor where they just did a mean stunt and told people about it and they used it. But do you realize for him to walk in that federal office, they've had to blackmail him. Give him a large amount of money, pay him off, because only an insane man or a desperate man would walk in and tell a federal agent he just committed a horrible crime so they'd offer him a bribe. When most federal agents, you would have got a funny little half grin and then nail to his death and said, no matter what, you won't do this, and then found a different way to get the drug dealers. But they knew Will and John. Did they take the money and then go after them? The setup was for them to take it so that they look rogue to the government, list them thieves, hmm? accessory to all these crimes, selling technology where they're selling it. Set them up so the government takes them out or locks them up. See, the pawn was me, but you guys are actually the target. And Dave's already gone. They need to put protection around all of them. And Pete, you better not leave Michelle alone. These people dismember people, we all know that. And you need to, Pete and Steve and Eric, you need to move, and so does Pete and Michelle. Change your phone numbers and your connections. This isn't funny. These people, real, I've already have two co-workers that killed some of their family members. We already know that. And over a thousand children disappeared from these people. They didn't get them back. They didn't get them back. I want you to think about that. They didn't get them back. And they laugh in your face how they kill people. Now I'm going to tell you what. That's where they said the way out of the trap is to do the right thing. Even an alliance over Sunday. Some lady said, no, this is funny. We looked it up. It is the drug lord's bets. What's happening and what they ordered. And we're all doing what the drug lord's bet and ordered. Everybody needs to stop. Because we're doing what the drug lord's ordered. It's already in the case. For we can put, be so cruel we can push her to suicide. The other one bet. I can steal everything she has in life and have everyone participate. The other one, where even Strange is added to it, if she leaves Dave, we're to make sure no man wants her. The other one, she has to work for everything in life if she uh, leaves Dave and then to, there to make sure she has nothing when she gets done. That no matter what, make sure she don't have it. Do you understand? Like they said, everybody needs to stop. We're doing what the drug lords told us to do. And it's us making it, their words happen. It is. Where they told these people, they make fast money, they get this, they found out nobody got a dime. Nobody actually got a shirt. Nobody got a tank of gas. They never reimbursed anybody for nothing. They all got used as pawns. So they get away with drug trading and human trafficking. And that's where the way out of the trap, like they said, it's actually just to do the right thing. He's counting on everybody to do everything wrong. He's counting on it. He's counting on it. Okay. Another thing during the case, when it first started, they told me that they were trying to sell me online. They're the highest bidder. Men actually showed up. Okay. Scared out of my mind. Can't try to get away from them. Even when I had my grandkids one time. I had three of them looking at me. Okay. Two of those cops. Uh, not Okay, today's the 5th. The 4th yesterday. January 4th, 24. 
uh, Speedway on Middle Ranch. The two guys ahead of me are undercover cops. Will told us to show up in case some idiot would have, where that guy's trying to sell her online. That if anybody would even show up today to try to get her. He's still trying to sell me. Like the Tuscarora Sheriff said, the FBI needs to hide you. They need to hide you. They should have hit me five years ago. There's always bad guys. There's always fentanyl kings. It's the victims that count. It's nipping it hard and fast. See, they all count. He's counted on everybody to do the wrong thing. The way out of the trap is everybody do the right thing. They told me that in Ravenna. Just like, remember the truth. They'll try to implant lies. They'll try to steal everything you have in life. Remember. Told you the weird saying. He's counting on everybody doing the wrong thing. The way out of the trap is the right.